Hello everyone. So today we will learn useful properties of a component in AEM 6.3. So there are many properties for a component which are very useful, but we may have just ignored them. So let's talk about them today. So my first property is CQ colon icon. So you can see that by choosing components from the design mode, you can see the default, you know, the default icon of a component. Just go to the design mode and it is not going in the design what happened with it uh, okay it is going in the design mode then if I choose a component you can see the default icon for a component you can see these these are the default icons so by default the icons are the first two alphabets of a component name so if it's generic ge long l o but we can change these abbreviations by adding a property so let's have a component internal and let me add a abbreviation so if it is an internal component but i want to give its show name as sh so i can change the abbreviation go to the design mode test is my group and you can see sh so there is no uh, the default one is the first two alphabets but i can add my own alphabets here but don't increase the number beyond two but because it will you know just there's no space for that so it's good to have two others are other options are coral UI icons. So there are a lot of coral UI icons are available on the internet. You can go to this particular page and you can find that there are a lot of icons. So if we are, you know, having a component related to, let's suppose Facebook, we are having a component related to Facebook. So what can I do? I can add, need to remove this. Then I can add CQ colon icon and here, add the class class of coral ui icon so class is written over here so if i again open the component so go to test and you can see that f is here so this is the icon we can see here and you know it just relates the component with the thing so if this component related to facebook so there are a lot of things regarding this if you are showing somewhere feed if you are showing somewhere files so you can use these icons so this will a uh, good to use functionality and other may other options maybe if you have some images which are not a part of coral ui icons so you can just put icons from 20 px by 20 px size and we can just add the image so how we can do that so in the component node create a file Na name is cq colon icon dot png and sorry here we can add uh, image so this should be a png image so let me just find out a png image if i have this is the png one Oh, don't no need to do it if the name only should be png sorry if i just mislead you should remove the cq icon from the component node i add it in the okay in the correct place okay just again reopen the dialog So you can just see that here we have this particular icon. So we can have our SPNG image and SVG images outside which are not part of Coral UI. We can have SVG images same like PNG images. So yes, CQ icons can be used to, you know, just show, represent that from, you know, from which context we are our components referring to. So if we have Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, we can use these Coral icons and it will look really cool. Another is help path. 
so help path is a very interesting functionality in terms of authoring guides so people used to write authoring guides in word word documents long long authoring guides and if an author comes and checks okay i need to write this component he just go to the authoring guide and checks okay this is written there so we can you know use this help path and it will it can make uh, the author's life more easy how to do that so in our am itself we can do, do that so in the in our am itself we can have some path some we can add some help path where we can go to that particular you know component so if i have an internal component and what i'm doing here uh, let's suppose i'm assuming that this is the authoring page of this particular component so let me add this here okay and if i go to this particular i need to drag and drop this particular component so let me choose it yes i have already done that then go to the edit mode then go to the internal here sorry let me create one more component here this is not this uh, uh need to remove this particular dialog add some more dialog here this a bad dialogs okay let's just let just have demo it on a v retail component or maybe somewhere else so in the article list i am copying a dialog path i am adding this dialog path in internal and here is a help path so i am changing this help path to this okay so once again i go to this particular component and if i go to this icon this will redirect me to its help path page so if i have written some you know information related to this component somewhere so what i can do i can create a page a documentation of this particular component page in am itself and i can link this to that page so uh, help pay path enables this particular icon to a particular page we can also add external page so if we have some confluence page or something like that so we can link this particular icon to that so author can just directly come and click this and read key so that how can we author that uh, one point to remember here if i are giving an internal path don't forget you to use dot html so it will not automatically append dot html so you need to do that so these th that's how these properties work so for more information of uh, uh, am blocks you can just log into this particular website and subscribe our page thank you